Hey YouTube, it's 333 Firestarter here. This is going to be episode number two of the Q&A series that I started a while back. I've kind of been busy, so I haven't really put out any videos. So this is uh, the first video in a while that I've done. I have some questions, um, a lot of different people this time. We're going to get into this. Let us start. First question comes from Steve and he asks, do I have any animals? Steve, I do not. I did, I have for I don't have any right now. I probably won't have for a long time. The next question comes from Tim. Tim asks, if I had a kid, what would I name it and why? If I had a daughter, I would name it Dadashta Levanquifa Beach. Just because it has a nice rhyme to it. It's got a nice sound to it. Kind of smooth, it rolls right off your tongue. It's spelt pretty interestingly. Dadashta Labonquifa. I like it. The next question is If I could go back in time, what would I change? Even if I could go back in time and change something, I wouldn't because I like where I'm at right now in my life. Nothing really. Kim asks Do I flex my ass muscles in the mirror? Hmm. Well, uh. <laughs> I don't do it that often, but I do sometimes. It's a little bit awkward, I'm not gonna lie. Lorraine asks a very uh, personal and intriguing question. Am I wearing a thong? Well, no. Not, no. No. Honestly, I don't think a thong would be the best look for me, but that's just my opinion. Megan asks, why is there a light in the fridge but not in the freezer? Hmm. Ice cubes hate the light. They're like vampires. Maybe to cut down on electricity? I don't know. Cody asks, why do people say pin number and ATM machine when it's kind of redundant, isn't it? So you have pin, which stands for personal identification number, and the N stands for number. Same with ATM, automatic transaction machine machine. It seems like there's so many issues with our language. That's the education system in America. Um, people say it just because it's a force of habit, I guess. Emily writes, what would chairs look like if everyone's knees bent the other way? Well, I don't know. I think chairs could still be the same way as they are right now. I think I can almost envision people with knees bent the other way, but it's still a little bit weird. Cody asks, what does pop, lock, and drop it mean? Let's look at this demonstration. That was amazing. That is pop, lock, and drop, I think. This has been episode number two of q and I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave your comments or questions down below. Um, you can rate, comment, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like my video. And hopefully I'll be making more videos soon now that I'm getting settled down into a permanent place. So uh, let me know any ideas you guys have for videos that you would like to see. Okay, you guys, keep it real. I'll talk to you later. This is 333 Firestarter, and I am out. Ugh, I need to work out more.